So get this, the last two weeks, the lawnmowers haven't come and cut the grass until like noon. Yeah, it's been crazy. I can't believe it. Like maybe 75 people called and are like, you guys shouldn't be doing that at 7.30 in the morning. Not only was that annoying to me because I record at that time, but like you gotta wait until at least 10 in the morning to start yard work in an apartment complex. You're nuts. On a completely unrelated note, hasn't August felt like it's taken six years or is it just me? Anyway, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Happy Thursday. Today's video, we're going to be doing something kind of like I've done about a year ago, and it's a form of tier list I called the stress meter or the panic button or something like that. Basically, what I'm going to be doing is putting myself in each team's shoes and saying how stressed out I would be heading into this season. Some of you guys really miss the tier lists, and like I said, I listen to you. So before we hop into the video, as always, we got a couple of quick announcements. One, head over to gfuel.com. Use code Wyatt's World, save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products. Also, it's a BOGO this weekend, so like you're not gonna be able to use my code if you do that, but obviously get buy one, get one free. And the last thing, if you guys are 18 years or older and would like to download the daily fantasy app known as Prize Picks, you can use code Wyatt's World to match up to $100 of your first deposit. And that's everything. Let's get into the video. Alright, so here we are at the stress meter, and we've only got four layers to it. At the top, we've got the teams that are, you know, chilling. Below the teams who are chilling, we've got the teams that are mildly stressed. You know, a little bit. There's a couple things, but nothing massive. Below that, we've got the teams that are flat out stressed out. They've got a lot going on, and they've got a lot to fix. And at the bottom, we've got teams that I would be chain-smoking cigarettes if I was in their fan base. Obviously, nobody wants to be there. So, we can begin with Washington. I'm nearly smoking cigarettes, but I'm not that bad. I'm just stressed. Your quarterback is extremely hit or miss. Your running game is a mess right now. Chase Young just got hurt. He could potentially be out for a long time, but hopefully not. Things aren't looking bright in Washington. I wouldn't be chain smoking darts, but I'd be losing hair. Moving on, we got the Rams. You're fine. You just got a fucking Super Bowl and your team is still amazing. Up next, we've got the Bears. I am smoking four to six cigarettes an hour if I'm a Bears fan. Your O-line is horrible. Your receiving core is honestly one of the worst things I've ever seen. Yes, I give credit to Mooney, but aside from that, it's trash. You have a brand new head coach coming into this mess. If I was a Bears fan right now, I, it would be very hard for me to be excited. Moving on, we got the Chargers. Mildly stressed because they have a fantastic team, but their division is absolutely brutal, and historically, they just fail to get the job done. Moving on, we got the Bills. I'm a Bills fan, bro. I, I mean, I don't want to sound cocky when I'm saying this, and I'm always stressed about things, but for the most part, I'm chilling. Got the number one defense last year with the addition of Von Miller. We do have a new offensive coordinator, but I think he's going to be just fine. Honestly, the one concern I have with Buffalo is kind of like what I just said about the Chargers, the stigma that they just fail to get it done, but I'm so excited for them. Moving on, we got the Saints. I'm, I'm not stressed. I mean, I am, but not, not that much. Like, yeah, it sucks. Michael Thomas is, you know, hurt again. Dennis Allen, I mean, he's kind of a question mark, and Jameis Winston is the other concern, but it doesn't sound like Kamara is going to be suspended this season. Even without Michael Thomas present, they've got a fantastic receiving core. You guys are clearly better than the Panthers and the Falcons. Like, I, you should be stressing about Tampa Bay, but I think you should be comfortable going in. Up next, we've got the Bengals. Uh, mildly stressed, and it's more of a schedule thing here. You don't got a cakewalk in your division at all. You've got the Browns, you got the Steelers, and you got the Ravens, and the Ravens are healthy. I think you guys do have an improved team, and you have a very good-looking team from the Super Bowl team you had last year. Uh, but your schedule does. It scares the shit out of me. I have nightmares about it. Moving on, we got the Browns. Smoking cigarettes. I really am. I think their team will still be good. They'll still be able to compete, but you just paid. You guaranteed Bill Cosby $235 million or whatever it was, and he's out for the first 11 games, which is a long time for something else to come up, you know what I mean? Up next, we've got Dallas. Um, I'm stressing. They just lost Tyron Smith, possibly, I think, for the entire year. You got the Eagles red hot on your ass. They're lucky they're playing the Commanders and the Giants twice each, but I, there's no way I'm comfortable if I'm a Cowboys fan right now. Not a shot. You've got a good team, but you, you've got some obstacles 
obstacles to overcome right now. Moving on, we got the Denver Broncos. Um, I, I would damn near be chilling if I was them, honestly, but I think I gotta say mildly stressed. Their division is very hard. You know, they're with the Chargers, the Raiders, and the Chiefs. Their team on paper should be fantastic, but you know, we don't know, and they got a brand new coach in Nate Hackett. There's more excitement than stress here for sure, but there, there is a couple things to worry about. Moving on, we got the Lions. Uh, mildly stressed because I don't think they expect to go far. They should be excited to watch this team develop and build. And without worrying about wins and losses, it should take a lot of the stress away, if you're asking me. Up next, we've got the Green Bay Packers. And we're actually going to do them and the Vikings at the same time because this is interesting. If I was Green Bay, I'd be stressing. And if I'm a Vikings fan, which I kind of am, mildly stressed. Vikings have an easy schedule. Vikings are trailblazing on Green Bay's ass right now. Roster-wise, they're neck and neck. Green Bay, far better defense. But offensively, I mean, it's not even close. Minnesota's better. If you're Green Bay, you're trying to protect your division. But you lost your number one weapon who isn't your quarterback the vikings if we go out there and we look like ass it's just another day in the life of a minnesota fan dude you guys don't know what it's like to be us we're bulletproof to this shit therefore we're not that stressed moving on we got the texans mildly stressed i, I don't think they're expecting to do a whole lot either sounds like you guys have a pretty good running back what's a damian pierce you got a nice addition to your secondary with Derek stindley jr in the draft i think you guys got another corner too right you've got some talent that i think will be exciting to watch develop and again like the Lions without the expectation to go out there and win it, it takes a lot of the stress away moving on we got the Colts I think the Colts are mildly stressed you know it's the fifth quarterback in five goddamn years there they're clearly at least the second best team in the division they might be as good as the Titans we'll see but I feel like in a lot of the Colts mindsets you know like they're they're kind of they're kind of like the Vikings they do good great if they don't it's just another fucking day in the life moving on we got the Chiefs uh I'm stressed I'm stressed on the fact that every team in that division got substantially better this offseason, except for you. Moving on, we got the Dolphins. I honestly feel like it's kind of a mild stress going on there. And if I was a Dolphins fan, I'd be really excited. I think McDaniel is going to be good for the team. Tyreek and Jalen Waddle is extremely deadly. I don't think they're obviously as good as Buffalo, but I do think roster wise, they beat the fuck out of the Patriots. Like I honestly think there's more excitement there than, than fear out of Miami. Moving on, we've got the Patriots. Uh, I'm stressed. You've got one team in your division who is clearly better than you. You've got another team in your division that roster wise, like I just mentioned, I think is substantially better than you you want to get into the playoffs it's not going to be through winning your division it's going to be through the wild card and if you look at the rest of the afc conference buddy you're competing with some fucking demons i am mortified if i'm a patriots fan right now moving on we got the panthers i'm smoking cigarettes because i have christian mccaffrey and i have matt rule i think your coach is one of the biggest dumbasses in the entire league and anytime i see christian mccaffrey take a snap i'm closing my eyes and plugging my ears very sink or swim team this year i mean i've said it and i'll say it again moving on we got the 49ers I i'm not gonna shit you guys here i'm chilling i know you're competing with the cardinals and the rams but i think they're far better than the cardinals and i mean just below the rams trey lance looks great the defense looks awesome they lock down Debo. Kyle Shanahan's got a healthy team of weapons as far as I'm concerned right now, unless I'm missing something. You guys should be excited as hell for this season. I'm excited for you. I mean, yeah, you're going to be worried about little things, but more times than none, I think you're going to be jacked up. Moving on, we got the Raiders. I mean, Jesus. This whole division's so fucking weirdly placed on here. I, I would be stressed if I'm the Raiders. I would be stressed about who I'm competing with. I know your roster got better, but I don't think it's as good as the Broncos or the Chargers. I would just be worried about the team keeping up with the rest of the division. Moving Moving on, we got the Falcons. Mildly stressed. Don't think they expect a lot at all, and they shouldn't. I think it's kind of a Desmond Ritter development year. Kelvin Ridley's not playing. They've got some defensive stars who are going to shine, but I, I don't think Marcus Mariota is going to be able to get you guys anywhere, and they know that. Therefore, I don't think there's a lot of stress. Moving on, we got the Jags. I'm smoking cigs. If Doug Peterson was my coach, I'm smoking cigarettes. I'm also stressing hard over Trevor Lawrence. Do I think he is going to be good? Yes. Do I think he already looks better? Yes. But if he goes out there and just looks like absolute hell again, that's a number one pick, guys. Like, you know, you're going to have to start seeing something, and you're going to have to start seeing it soon. Moving on, we got the Ravens. Mild stress. Their team is healthy. There's a lot of things to be excited about. It's kind of a Bengals race there. I think those two are going to be the two fighting for it. You know, like I've already said, their division is never going to be a cakewalk, but without Watson there, the Ravens are a better team than the Browns. Whoever the quarterback is, the Ravens are a better team than the Steelers, roster-wise. I think they have a very good shot to go to the playoffs if everyone remains healthy, and I think that eliminates a lot of the stress there. 
Up next, we've got the Cardinals. Stressed, reasonably so. Competing with the Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. You just paid Kyler Murray an ass ton of money. And judging by what happened last year, you guys are one to two injuries away from completely just falling apart. Moving on, we got the Giants. Ah, uh, chain smoking cigarettes. You need a quarterback. You need Saquon to come back. You need your wide receivers to look like they actually enjoy playing the game. Thibodeau just got hurt. It doesn't look like it's major, but that's an injury on my mind. Might be able to compete with the Commanders, but they're not going to touch Dallas, and they're not going to touch Philly. Moving on, we got the Jets. Stressed? I don't think they're going to be stressing about winning. I don't think they're expecting that, but they should be stressing about Mekhi Becton missing another year, and they should be stressing about Zach Wilson's injury and Zach Wilson being able to take over the team without needing a veteran like Joe Flacco to be there. Moving on, we got the Eagles. Call me crazy. This is strongly due to their division. They are chilling. I think they're better than Dallas, and they are far better than the other two boneheads that they're going to be competing with. This is almost as sure as shit of a cakewalk into the playoffs as you could have. I know all the Dallas fans are screaming and clawing right now. What are you talking about? Prove me wrong, but I think Philly is going to beat your ass. <laughs> Moving on, we got the Steelers. My oh, nah, they're probably stressed. O-line's always been a concern, and right now the quarterback game is a little bit of a concern, but I think there's more excitement there than anything because Pickett has looked excellent. George Pickens looks really good as your receiver. Your defense is always there. At this point, it's more of a division concern than anything. I just don't think this year they're going to be able to keep up with the Bengals or the Ravens and possibly not even the Browns. Moving on, we got the Seahawks. Smoking. The fuck are you doing with your quarterback? Are you going to get Jimmy or not? Are you guys even going to try to compete this year or not? Following them, we've got the Bucks. I'm chilling. Tom Brady's back. He's looking like he's committed. I would be concerned about beating the Saints in the regular season, but I, I don't think they're going to miss the playoffs or even be close to it. And last but not least, we've got the Titans. And I just realized I only have the Bills from the AFC up and chilling, so I'm going to get ripped for that. But Titans, I think they're kind of like the Colts. Running back is going to get used a lot. Quarterback, there's uncertainties there. I think the Colts actually have more of a certain quarterback than the Titans at this point. But Mike Vrabel's going to keep them in there. They don't have a ton to compete with. It's just going to be a matter of if they can beat out the Colts in the AFC South or not, honestly. All right, guys, and that is the stress meter I have for every single team. I hope you all liked that video. If you did, you already know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe, turn that bell on. I do my best to post every single day. Make sure to sub to my other channel if you guys like to see me opening packs. I got some stuff coming in the mail that I plan to open on it this week, possibly today. Comment, like, subscribe if you want to show any support to this channel. But with everything I just said, I'm going to hop off and get this shit edited so you can watch it on time. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Thursday. And as always, I will see you in the next video.